hello my beautiful people welcome back to another video thank you for clicking on this video i have a lot to say on this video but let's listen to what this lady has to say viral videos circulating about nigerians trending in libya now here are the facts a few years ago under president muhammad Buhari, i personally wrote seeking a massive evacuation of nigerians in stranded in libya because of videos such as we just saw now Mr. President then approved and a high power delegation was constituted and sent to Libya to go into the, the detention centers. We had the Minister of Foreign Affairs then chairing it, Office of the National Security Advisor, the Comptroller General of Immigration, NAPTIP, Refugee Commission, and myself, NIA was also there, and myself. And um, we went into detention centers in Libya. I saw one of the most horrific sights of my life. I remember that girl who held onto my leg and said in pigeon because she didn't want them to hear her speak English, they would understand. And she said, you know what? They've raped me. Many of them slept with me. I'm pregnant. When they knew you were coming, they chipped something inside me and I'm bleeding now. It was a very horrific sight. And we brought them back, all of them. Well, almost 10,000. Max Air lifted them back from Libya. Now, watch my video. <laughs> These first-time Nigerian migrants heading home from this holding facility in Tripoli are worried that the plane will leave without them. The only thing on their mind now is to get home. But many others here have been through this routine before. This attitude has surprised even the experts who say as many as 45% of deported migrants from Libya attempt to go back. It's that same agreement traffickers and illegal migrants exploit but the challenges go beyond that. For now, African countries continue to evacuate citizens from Libya, preventing those citizens from attempting to reach Europe. The fact that 40% of these people will still go back, this thing is actually in our blood. We are escaping Nigeria right from the times of our forefathers. And this Libya people has been the one that has been selling us the kind of slave trade that these people are using nigerians to do in their country is unbelievable i'm so heartbroken with this you could see me addressing them right in libya before we brought them back now unfortunately they're still going and apart from the massive evacuation the international organization for migration has actually been bringing back nigerians stranded in libya between um, january and september they brought back the about i guess less than three thousand in about 15 flights regularly from libya and yet we still have our people going there i came out severally to warn avoid this dangerous path to migration now those you saw are those who survived there are many who have died so um for all of you that posted the video i need a very important information where are the cells they're in where are the cities they're in Libya has thousands of cells scattered all over Libya. So we need to know where exactly they are, what cells are they coming from, in what city, before we can get them back. So please give us that information for those of you that the video was sent to. And I'm sure they'll be rescued. But a very important message. We need to stop this dangerous pathway, particularly through Libya. It's very dangerous. And for those of you bloggers that have been sending the video, join us in educating them. Join us in the fight against human trafficking. Traffickers got them there. They paid heavily for traffickers to take them there. We need to name, shame, arrest traffickers. That is the only way this can stop and raise the awareness. We can't keep embarking on dangerous journeys and then we get there and say, oh, well, we're in trouble. So again, that's just information we need, the cells, the cities, and um, we will do everything to get them back. If I say I don't pity for these people, I will be I will be lying. But I do feel for them because I'm a human being. But in 2024 or since 20 since 2019, people are not supposed to be passing through Libya. It has been like this for a very long time. I lost someone. I've lost my cousin through this Libya. That's how he said he's going to Lagos. So till today, we heard from someone. Hey, I saw him when we were crossing. There are so many stories of people dying in Libya. Look at how they are. Look, look how 
unhealthy they are they are so tiny they have seen imagine grown people crying just to go back home empty-handed they don't care what they don't care if they are going home with empty handed. They just want to leave. They want to leave. They are traumatized. Since I don't know what people are still going to do in Libya. Stop it. My people, stop going to Libya. Stop going to Libya. I have personally lost my cousin through this route. Things have been happening. We've seen how they, they are treating people in this Libya. They, let, they sell people. They treat people like animals. Just stop. In 2024, people are still passing through road to go to Libya. It's, 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 it's unfair. It's sickening. Stop it. Stop it. Going to Europe is not guarant does not guarantee success. People that are going to Europe, how many of them are you seeing that are making it? You see them 24 hours complaining on the internet that there's nothing in Europe. You think they're lying. You think they're lying. Just they will walk and walk and walk and walk and send little team back home they will build a little house you can do better i've already lived there by live there by all means if i think i don't know what are your thoughts please leave it in the comment section